everybody, how are you? This is Andrea and welcome to my new series about doll restoration and maintenance. In this first episode we will talk about disassembling and cleaning your doll. If you are a supporter on Patreon then you already know about my newest doll. She is a Yunoa Lucis made by Gentaro Araki. I used to have two Yunoas many many years ago but ended up selling them because of financial issues while both me and my boyfriend were unemployed. My two Yunoas names were Nicole and Michelle and yes, my channel's name Nicole's Dreams was inspired by my own doll. Alright, let's get moving because we have a ton of work to do. Let's start by removing the faceplate, that way I can wipe off her face up. Here you can see me removing the eyes and teeth part. They were attached to the faceplate with some putty. There is also some putty in these other sections, which helped holding the faceplate in place, but we want to remove everything. I use both nail polish remover and acetone with q-tips and cotton buds to erase the face up. I want to give her a brand new face up that will resemble her old character. those tiny details around the eyes, nose, lips and ears, I use a toothpick. Alright, now it is time to disassemble the body. Not all BJDs are strung exactly the same way, but they should be quite similar. Most of the traditional BJDs have an elastic going from one hand through the torso and all the way to the other hand. And then a second elastic going from one foot up the neck and then back down to the other foot. It will all make sense when I take this body apart, just pay close attention to the video. To help with the process I use an elastic string puller and some forceps. You can buy those from most BJD stores such as LUTs. As you can see there are S hooks attached to the hands and feet which hold the elastic and therefore all body parts together. If you're afraid of forgetting which parts go where, I suggest taking a photo or two before and during the process. Some companies have the parts marked with left and right, but not all of them so just be aware of that. Thank you. 
Alright, here we go. The elastic string seems quite old, but lucky enough I had some extra ones that I bought a while ago. Next step is probably the most tedious one. I pretty much clean each part separately with nail polish remover and some cotton buds. Observe how much dirt is being removed. But this is a second hand doll, so it's quite normal that dolls get dirty with time and lots of play. I am also removing all the hot glue around the joints that was applied previously to improve posability. A comparison before and after cleaning. I really took time with this process. I spent about two hours just on this part but it will be worth it. While I'm busy scrubbing I would like to say a massive thanks to my Patreon supporters who are making all these videos possible. Without you I would not be able to create nearly as many videos as I am now, so thank you! On Patreon we discuss new video ideas, my supporters get to see all my videos a full week in advance, I share with them all my new doll related purchases, be it dolls, clothes, props and materials and where I bought them from. And on top of that they also get to see my exclusive Patreon series such as making of my butterfly boho wig. If you want to support what I do and want to enjoy all the awesome exclusive perks, check my official Patreon page. I will leave a link in the description box. Now that we are done, I fill a large plastic bowl with warm water and add a bit of dishwashing detergent. Put all the parts in it and soak for a bit. I pretty much left it there for an hour or two. After some time I rinse all the parts under lukewarm water to remove any soap residue. And then I put everything on a towel and let dry. Lucky enough, I kept some of my previous Unoa parts, so now I can check the condition of the resin and see how yellowed it is. Oh wow, this was a massive surprise! I can't tell the difference between the color of the two parts. I am so impressed because it means that the previous owners took very good care of the doll and made sure it's not exposed to direct sun. I am so happy and impressed. All she needed was a nice clean up and she looks like brand new. So in the next episode I will show you how to use hot glue to improve her posability and restring the doll back into one piece. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment and share. Thank you so much for watching. 
take care and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye!